Welcome back to Sweepy TV. I'm your host, Caitlin Fashe, and today I'm joined by the Never Have I Ever star, Maitreyi Ramakrishnan. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you today? Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, slept in like normal now. Every day I'm trying to sleep in. It's like a streak, you know, you gotta keep it going. And uh, yeah, I'm just doing me, living quarantine out. <laughs> I love it. Well, congratulations on all the success of Never Have I Ever. But before we talk about the show, let's talk about quarantine a little bit. What have you been up to during this time? Maybe one thing that's been keeping you positive. Yeah, um, definitely my video games. Uh, my video games have been keeping me positive. I love my Nintendo Switch. There's something for everybody. Like everybody should just go out and get a Nintendo Switch. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. A lot of video games, a lot of sleeping, and a lot of Netflix. That's like the the Triforce there. <laughs> Do you play uh, Animal Crossing? I know that's huge yeah. on the Switch. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've been playing most recently, yeah. It's, it's relaxing, re it's relaxing. Yeah, it's fun, I, I feel you. All right, let's talk about Never Have I Ever. It is a coming of age comedy created by Mindy Kaling and Lang Fisher. And this is the first role you've ever booked. And not only that, you got to work so closely with Mindy. So what was that whole experience like for you? Um, it was amazing. I couldn't honestly ask for a better, you know, introduction to Hollywood. Like, I'm so grateful to both Mindy and Lang for creating such an amazing environment for me on set. It was super nice to be there and I felt welcome. You know, I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like just like a new, like a new person to it all. Like, I felt like I could try out new things and I could ask my questions. Both Mindy and Lang, they run a really tight ship to make sure that everything is done you know, in a fun way, yet still productive, but everybody is nice, like genuinely nice. You gotta be nice to be on the set, cast, crew, never have I ever. I love that. And it makes it a better experience for everyone too, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And do you still remember where you were, what was happening when you found out you officially booked the role of Davey because you beat out 15,000 other girls. Like that is huge and so exciting. Yeah, it, it really is huge. and. I remember when I got the call, it was in my living room and my whole family was with me and it was Mindy and Lang themselves on the phone wow. telling me I got it. And I do remember, like, I, I wasn't believing it because at the time, uh, Mindy didn't actually put out that tweet of the fact that there were over 15,000 yet. So that actually came after I got the role. Okay. But I was like, still just the idea that it was me yeah. Not, not even knowing a number of how many people were auditioning for it, I was still like, me? You sure? <laughs> like... <laughs> Are you sure? Do you have the right girl? <laughs> exactly! I love it. That's a great story. Let's talk about some episodes. I, I'm a fan of the show, I will tell you, and I love every episode. But do you have a favorite episode that you like watch back and you just want to keep watching over and over again? Yeah, uh, for me, that would actually be episode nine and 10, because I think, like I think in the beginning with one, two, three, it's very like, you know, your typical comedy, you know, it's funny, it's quick, it's, you know, it's very Mindy in the sense that it's very like bright, colorful, happy, you know, and like happy, like accidents happen, you know, Bob Ross, woo. but all that, you know, all that happened in the first three episodes. But then by the time you get to nine and 10, it's completely different. And it's way more like, yeah, serious, but, heavy emotionally and that's when I feel like for the audiences that's where like the waterworks come out for everybody yeah. <laughs> starts crying so woo! but yeah those scenes are really awesome to film in nine and ten and they're also just something I'm really proud of for making happen yeah so that's part of the reason why it's my favorite I love it and you should be proud of yourself we're gonna play a game of never have I ever it is the name of the show after all so you know how to play, right? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna list some things. You're gonna tell me if you have or you haven't. Not yeah. nothing too crazy. Don't get nervous. <laughs> Here we go. Um, the first one. Have you ever dressed up to impress a boy? Non. Honestly, no. For me, it's more like I care about my own look. So for yeah. me, it's like perfection of my like self. You know, if my yeah. makeup is not perfect, it's like, no, I can't. <laughs> like I can't. Like, it bugs you more than you care about other people. Literally, yeah. Literally, yeah. <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm like, I don't care what anyone else thinks. If I don't like it, it's not good. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 
Okay, what about, have you ever fallen in your high school hallways? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. My biggest fear is like, in high school, my biggest fear wasn't like anything like getting shoved in lockers or anything like that. It was like falling downstairs. Like I just, I just knew it would hurt. And I, every single time, all four years, I always thought about it. Every single time I went up and down the stairs. But yes, I've definitely tripped through hallways and whatnot. Okay, have you ever failed a test? Oh yeah, 100%. Oh my God. Oh yeah, I remember um, in grade nine, um, we were doing chemistry, like it was like the first introduction to like the chemistry unit. And just before that though, my great grandma passed away, which is a lot of where I drew like my emotions from for the role of Davy when it came to her dad. Cause wow. my great grandma was like my first best friend. But she passed away, so I was at home like for like maybe a good solid week or two. I think two solid weeks actually, um, doing funeral stuff to help like my family and whatnot. And that was the whole unit of chemistry. Not like I cared about science anyways. Like, if I was there, it probably would even would have made a difference. Like I'm not even trying to use my great grandma as an excuse. Like, well, but, it, is, it is it is an excuse. I. <laughs> I ended up doing the test though, cause my science teacher was like, nope, you have to do it still. You were like expected to do your homework while you were gone all through like the class site. And I'm like, I bet pass this test. <laughs> I drew a giraffe, I handed it back. She wanted me to do it during my lunch time. Like you really think you I'm gonna giraffe? cry? No way. I'm gonna get out of here. Take this back. That is so crying. <laughs> That's what I did and then I left. You're like, here you go, lady. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, done. Thank you. Goodbye. That's, that's hilarious. Well, you are super sweet. I've had a blast getting to hang out with you today. Congratulations, and I can't wait to see all the success that comes to you. Thank you. I appreciate it.